bad friends how are you all doing good morning good afternoon good evening it depends on the time or uh, whatever you are watching right now actually you can see i'm in in job today yeah it has a reading and this uh video it's it's uh it's in two ways because um it's in first of all i'm thank you god almighty allah yeah on behalf of my family here in Oman, Harab, I'm thanking God for being with us so far for the for the journey from the whole one year because it's already a year that my mother, my boss, my darling mother here in Oman, my Omani mother passed on. So this is just a remembrance of her and I pray that uh May good and almighty Allah make our soul to rest in a peaceful and we shall see. I don't even know, maybe, maybe you can see you, but I just pray that she rest on, on the bosom of our God because she's such a good mother. And also, I just want you guys to pray and for her soul to rest on. And uh, also, I pray for our journal for her. Yeah, she's such a good, 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 good boss to me. I don't, I don't even know what else to use because she's a person that I come across and I, I learned so many things from her. Just the little years that we spent together, I, I learned a lot of things about life, how life has nothing too much to hold tight onto than to hold onto the God you are serving. So... And I swear, I want to use this video to appreciate the family I'm working with because they really did a very thing, a very, very thing that I don't expect that's so special. And it's not that it's for me, but they did it to, uh, to people that they would appreciate and be useful to them. And what am I talking about? As a talking gift to remember my presence in their family and also to make a memory for their mother in my country before I will leave this family. And uh, when it's three months that my boss passed away, uh, they trusted me with some money that they want to do something for my Muslim community in my country. As you know that I'm a Christian and it's so difficult for me to just give an answer. And I don't really take what they are telling me so serious that very day. That is, to be sincere, I'm not really sure because it's, you know, these Arab people, some people were behaving some about these people were good to me too from the onset. But when I when they told me that they want to do something to my country that uh in respect to their mother, just like a donation. So I I have nothing else to do than because I'm not in good mood during that moment the house is not that nice as well. If you see the situation of this house, you'll be so scared to come inside. So so when they told me, I don't take it so serious because I think they were just talking. So uh, to cut the long story short, but I eventually put the, a post on my Facebook where I speak in my dialect Yoruba language that I'm looking for a mosque in Nigeria, most especially in Ondo State, and I will appreciate people based in Akure, which is where I live, at least, because if, I don't know, when I go back to my country, they may ask me to go there, and I don't want a far distance of places that I have to spend too much or be worried before I get there. So, that post, a lot of people were asking me that, why am I looking for most? Am I Muslim and that? Some people were not serious about the post, but luckily for me, and to, to God Almighty that want to make everything easy for me, I was lucky to find a Muslim community very close that is just going to take me 30 or 45 minutes to get there to my, from my house. So I was like, God, I appreciate you. And uh, those must tell me that they are interested in what I post, uh, uh, posted that they will appreciate if they can do it to their mosque and voila. My family, I told them about it, and they trusted me with the money, the project. I started the project, and I did it uh, between one month because then it was so difficult to send money to Nigeria and all that. And 
people before i get those people that are going to work on the project and all that but i am the lie i thank god that it happened without regretting i don't regret because during that moment i don't even i don't really get my parents involved about it because i want to do it with the pure heart these people have and with the trust they have towards me and i don't want the situation that they will think maybe she sent the money to her family and they spent some of no i did it uh, with the outsider that i i even put my trust also in god that this person will not disappoint me but i do it because actually my my manager my close friend one of my close friends i do call him manager was involved about the transaction so that i can be a witness how i spend the money so thank god everything went so perfect and uh guys the video the clip you're going to see right now is the clip of what i did or the the project my family here did in respect and also in remembrance to their mother yes which i also thank god and also pray for their mother to rest in peace yeah so guys it, when it, whenever you have wherever you are working just be a good person because it's really surprised me and i'm also so honored it's not that i'm that a good person but i'm also honored that they could have such a trust in me and also believe in me to do that kind of a thing to a muslim community like i'm so happy because this thing is going to be useful to a lot of people that area because they are really in need of it and i'm so happy so let me put the clip i'm talking about here so that you guys can watch thank you so much i believe you guys already be seeing it right now because i'll be showing it i don't want to view everything that or because the people i'm working with they do, they are kind of person they don't like to expose themselves or expose their personal life but this thing is just to in remembrance this video is in remembrance of my late madam yeah so guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video yeah bye master lamb